Music Creator 6 Touch is great DAW software to get you started in the world of music recording and production. It's powerful, yet straightforward to use. A DAW is a digital audio workstation, and in the same way a word processor can manipulate text and images, DAW software can be used to record, edit, and playback audio and MIDI files. Music Creator 6 Touch not only makes this easy, but is also great fun to use. It includes features such as drag and drop, to position clips, instruments and effects, as well as easy-to-use tools such as the Smart Tool that adapts its functions as you work through a project. You can easily record your own performances, and once a project has been assembled, use Music Creator's powerful tools and effects to edit, mix and export tracks, either as stereo wave files, direct upload to SoundCloud, or burn them to CD. New to Music Creator is touch support for Windows 8. Using an Intel-inspired Ultrabook or any touch-enabled device, you can physically touch your screen and control different aspects like playback, mixing, matrix view. You can also use familiar gestures like pinch and swipe to navigate your project. Music Creator 6 Touch is the first DAW to incorporate custom touch control, making the experience on touch devices even better. Whatever format you choose, you'll get real professional sounding results. Let's take a look at it. On first startup, as well as being able to create new projects or load existing ones. There are also links to tutorial files and videos to help you get started. Creating a new project is easy. Click on the New Project option, pick one of the existing starting point templates from the list, and name it. Once the project is created, we're presented with the award-winning Skylight interface. In the center is the track view. This is the main display area for working with clips that make up a project. There are already some blank audio tracks in this project, but adding more tracks as they are needed is straightforward. Just right-click in the header area to the left of the track view and choose to insert the required track type from the menu. Left of the track view is the inspector, which displays track controls and information for the selected track or clips. Choose what is displayed using the tabs at the top. On the main track strip, there is access to all the track controls such as volume level, pan, solo, mute, and record, as well as track inputs and outputs, and the per track EQ. Double click on the EQ plot to open the great sounding Sonitis EQ interface. The inspector can be repositioned on the right side, floated or hidden and shown as required. Just click drag it into position and press I to hide or show it. To the right is the browser. This can be used for browsing and loading audio and MIDI loops, effects, instruments, in fact, everything you need to create projects with. There are tabs along the top to locate specific file types, as well as shortcuts to user-defined preset locations. Just like the inspector, this can be hidden, moved, or floated. Once hidden, press B to show it again. At the top is the control bar where various controls can be found to save, open, export and burn projects to CD. Control transport and master volume, change project tempo and tools, as well as navigate the various view layouts known as screen sets. There's also a module for quick access to help files and tutorials. Just like the inspector and browser, this bar can be moved, floated and hidden. Press C to show or hide it. There are several other ways to view a project. One of these is the console view, which resembles a mixing desk and can be used when mixing tracks together. Similar to look at to the inspector strip, each track has its own console strip with all the mixing controls easy to hand. Each strip here corresponds to a track in the track view. These views open in another part of the Skylight interface called the multi-dock. This area can hold multiple views at once, each on their own tab, and the multi-dock itself can be docked at the top or bottom of the track view. It's maximized or restored by pressing Shift plus D and can be hidden or shown instantly by pressing D on the keyboard. A layout arrangement of the various views and windows is known collectively as a screen set. There are 10 screen set slots available in which to organize the interface how you want it and then switch between them by pressing the relevant numeric button or using the screen set module in the control bar. Projects are made up of pieces of audio and MIDI called clips. MIDI clips can play a virtual instrument or soft synth, as well as hardware synths if you have any. Audio clips play back just like a WAV file in a media player, but with much greater control and editing options. Virtual instruments can be loaded from the browser. Click on the plugin tab, then the instrument icon. Locate the required instrument and drag it into the track view area. 
There are several included with Music Creator and others are available as VST instruments from Cakewalk and other developers. Music Creator comes with six instruments including Sound Center, TTS-1, and the full suite of studio instruments. With studio instruments you can easily add electric piano, bass, strings, and drums to any track. The interface makes it fun and simple to add these sounds to your song. Dragging an instrument into the track view automatically creates a track where MIDI clips can be put or recorded. A MIDI input device such as a keyboard is needed to record MIDI data. Drag and drop can be used to add clips. Click on the Media Browser tab to navigate to and preview MIDI loops. Drag a clip into a MIDI track or background area of the track pane to import it. Audio clips can be previewed and imported in the same way. Once imported, a special type of clip called a groove clip can be rolled out to the required length just by click-dragging one end of it. It's easy to change any regular clip to a groove clip. Just select the clip and press Ctrl plus L. A synth sound can be changed from the MIDI track header controls or by double-clicking on the track header icon to open the synth's interface. The options and sounds available will depend on the loaded synth. Once a project has been created and changed, save it using the Save icon in the control bar. Alternatively, select Save from the menu or press Ctrl plus S. To start and stop playback, use the transport controls in the control bar or press the space bar. These controls are similar to those found on a typical CD player. The current play position is known as the now time and is represented by a vertical line that moves through the project. The position is also displayed in time format in the transport module. To jump to a region of the project quickly, just click in the time ruler. The now time will move to the point that you've clicked. To record audio or MIDI into a track, select the required track input, arm the track for recording. If it's audio, set recording levels and then click the record button. The transport will start. Any existing clips will play back, while at the same time audio or MIDI at the armed input will be recorded, perhaps a guitar, keyboard, or vocal performance. The project tempo and meter are set in the transport module, and there's a metronome that can be turned on or off to help keep time while laying down your own tracks. Once all the clips have been imported or recorded, editing them is just as easy. The track view is the main view used for working with clips. Notice that the default tool, known as the Smart Tool, adapts to perform various tasks depending on the current view and its whereabouts over a clip. A key feature of the innovative Smart Tool is that you can perform two types of selection. Time range for selecting parts of clips with the left mouse button and lasso selecting for selecting full clips with the right mouse button. Clicks can be split into smaller ones by holding the Alt key down and clicking at the required point. They can also be moved, faded in and out, or slip edited just by click-dragging on their ends in slightly different places, all done with just the smart tool. MIDI is edited using the Piano Roll View, commonly known as the PRV. This can be opened from the Views menu or just by double-clicking on a MIDI clip. Like the Console View, it opens in the Multi-Dock in its own tab. Once multiple views are open in the Multi-Dock, switch between them by clicking on a tab. The PRV is where MIDI data can be viewed, drawn, or edited. There's no need to change tools, the Smart Tool adapts to the view. Double-click to add a note at the default duration, or click and drag to create a note to the required length. The default duration can be set from the HUD. This is shown by clicking the middle mouse button or pressing T. The HUD then pops up at the cursor position, right where it's needed. The drop-down can be used to choose a specific note duration or last touched. Another way to work with MIDI is to use the Step Sequencer view. This is a powerful way to create beats and backing tracks. Sometimes it can help to zoom in or out. Just click and drag up or down at the top of the time ruler to easily change the zoom level. Notes and other events can be made to fit or snap to a virtual grid using the Snap to Grid function. Turn this on and off as well as adjust the settings using the icon in the control bar. The Smart Grid, just like the Smart Tool, adapts to the current view. The snap resolution changes with the zoom level, or alternatively, turn the Smart Grid off and set your own preferred snap resolution. Once the tracks have been assembled, recorded and edited, they are ready to be mixed. Music Creator has all the tools needed to make this easy.
The console view has all the mixing controls in one easy-to-use view, including volume and pan. In addition, the per-track EQ can be accessed from here to shape the sound as required. Effects can be added to a track's effects bin, either by right-clicking in the bin or dragging them in from the Plugin Effects tab of the browser. There are some great effects included with Music Creator, including a compressor, delay, chorus, and reverb. In addition, Music Creator 6 Touch also includes the new Overloud TH2 Creator Amp Simulator. You can record directly into your computer or audio interface and get realistic guitar tones for almost any genre of music. It includes three amps, four cabinets, five pedals, and mics. If we need adjustment to controls to happen in real time on Mixdown, automation can be added. This might be to control volume, pan, or any of the parameters of an effect on a track. Add envelopes using the Edit filter, and draw automation using the Smart tool. The Edit filter is found in the track header area, or can be selected from the HUD. These envelopes can be viewed by opening up the automation lanes. Automation can also be recorded in real time by arming a track for automation write and then moving the controls as the project plays back. This creates a recording of the movements called an envelope. Automation can also be edited with the Smart tool. Just change the edit filter to the required envelope. A quick way to change the edit filter is to shift-click on the required envelope or clip. Once a project has been mixed, it can be exported as a stereo WAV file in several formats, including MP3 and WAV, uploaded directly to SoundCloud, or burned straight to a CD. Cakewalk Music Creator 6 Touch, an entry-level DAW that makes creating, recording, editing, mixing, and producing music easy.